Hi, this is Paul from finishyoursong.com and in this video I want to have a look at allocating drive letters to an external USB disk drive. Now there's a number of reasons why you might want to do that. Um, you might be using a disk drive to store some of your samples as an external streaming drive with USB 3. This is now very practical. Or you might have an SSD drive in an external housing that you're trying to use. You might want to back up your data and you're backing up off your computer onto a separate disk drive so that in the event of a catastrophic failure all your hard work is safely backed up. In either event what you want is for the disk drive to constantly use the same letter when you plug it in. Unfortunately Windows tries to be a bit too helpful when it comes to external disk drives or drives of any sort and it dynamically allocates the next available letter to the disk drive. So you then have to plug things in in the same order all the time in order to make sure that everything comes up with the same letter every time you use it. And you're still vulnerable then to bits of hardware that have a pre-allocated letter. So when you plug in, the disk drive that you've been using suddenly vanishes and gets replaced by a built-in bit of hardware. As an example, I had a computer that had a built-in disk reader and depending on what sort of card from a camera you would put into it, it would either allocate E, F, G or H. So if you were using an F drive and you put the right sort of card into the card reader, your F drive would suddenly become a card reader and not the USB drive that you thought it should be. So the thing to do is to get your drive to have a fixed letter every time and that's what we're going to do. As it happens I'm trying to configure one of my external hard drives to operate with my laptop. I'm going to plug it in and you'll see the process go through. You might see things jump a bit as we go. I will try to speed it up if it takes too long to find the drivers but here we go. The drivers come up as the G drive. That's not what I want. So the way to get rid of that is to go into the control panel Administrative Tools Computer Management and we go into disk management over here. And as you can see we have a number of drives linked up. We have the boot, we have the F drive which is a little USB stick that I keep my Waves licenses on. I have my SSD L drive that I use for streaming and it's come up as the G drive. So what we do is we click on that, right click, change drive letter and path and seeing as this is a one terabyte I'm going to change that and assign the drive letter T. Okay yes I want to continue because as far as I'm concerned this is a new drive and there we are and whilst we're about it I'm going to go into volume properties and I'm going to re rename this hard disk drive to go one terabyte because I actually have a 250 gig hard disk drive to go which I don't want to be confused but I want to be consistent in how I label them. So there you go that's it I now have a T drive and as you can see the autoplay feature has now brought up the T drive rather than the G drive that it once was. In the device manager in Windows, that connection has now been made between that particular USB drive and this computer. So it doesn't matter if I plug it in through a USB hub or my docking station, that particular drive will always come up with the letter T. Uh, that's it, and I hope you found this useful. And until next time, you take care of yourselves.